Hey everyone, this is PX Mr. Collector. Welcome to another episode. <gasps> okay. It's time for Miss Barbie. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Peter. Welcome to another episode. Yeah, thank you for joining me today. I know you got a lot of things to do, so I appreciate your time. Thank you. Yeah, um, before I get going, I just want to say that I am so happy, so, so happy with all the new subscribers that I've been getting. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad that you're enjoying my content. You know, um, I do... Um, my best to edit these videos and make them a little more interesting to you than just me talking. And I really appreciate the fact that you have noticed and that you have made some great comments about it. And I appreciate that you appreciate me. <laughs> so thank you. Um, yeah. You know, there's no way that I cannot talk about Barbie. And she has been, Mattel has been coming out with so many incredible new dolls that um, are, are quite a, a, a showstopper. There's some really, really cool stuff coming up that I don't want to talk about in this video because I'm really excited when I finally talk about what that's about. I know, so cool. So in front of me, on my floor, <laughs> I have two different collections of, of, of Barbie. So the one that I'm gonna do today is a little bit on the miscellaneous, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. The next one that I'm going to talk about is the ones that came up with special dolls um, or personalities like Madam C.J. Walker, right? But I'm not going to talk about her right now. I just want to let you know what's coming up. Today, I'm going to talk about these other girls and boys. So, as you know, I, you know, the reveal dolls, the animals, right? First batch came in, second batch came in, I think there's a third batch. Maybe we're working on to the fourth. But of all those batches, you know, as a collector, there's only so much that you can keep purchasing. <laughs> Especially someone like me who collects a lot of different toys. And that's the one thing that I also wanted to mention is that by now you have gathered that I am not just a Barbie guy or Monster High. Hot toys, right? It, I'm a little broader than that. So there is something in my videos for just about everyone. And it may be something that you're not into, but it may be something that you might be introduced to that you may like, right? So with that said, Barbie is between the fashionistas and the reveals and the style dolls, and I mean, you, you the, the, the list goes on and on and on. And every time there's a, like another layer that comes in. So as a collector, you try to keep that in check. So myself, when it came to the reveal dolls, I collected the first four. And then after that, I put my brakes on it until I decide how I'm going to move forward with that um, collection. 
And just as I was saying so, they came up with this one that maybe my favorite of all of them. <laughs> I know, and I love that, right? So I am talking about Right there. Yeah. The Toucan Bird. Oh. <laughs> I saw the photos of it and I was like, okay, that's going to be the one. And I believe in, oh, so this they call, I just realized, they call it the Jungle Series. And this one has an elephant, a tiger, the Toucan, the Toucan, and um, a monkey. The monkey may be my second favorite, but there they are, right? However, when I saw the photo of this, I was like, oh, and I haven't even pulled it up and pulled them out yet. So let's see how I could do this. Huh. Yeah, they are not going to allow me to open this. But... <laughs> so as you know, it comes with 10 surprises, <clears throat> which by the way, I have never opened one. <clears throat> Don't know what they are, um, but in my display, I don't have that many accessories when it comes to the barbie because of the space. So I pretty much leave them in the box. So there's another one. <laughs> and there's another one. This has the Velcro. <laughs> so adorable. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> is that is like the cutest thing ever. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah. And I have never pulled out the heads on this, so I'm not going to do it with this one either. Um, but as you can see in the picture, what she looks like without the bird head on her. Yeah, really cool. The legs, actually, this is not plastic. This is actually material. So that's really, really cool. Um, the shoes or the feet are really easy to remove. Oh, she feels so cute, so nice. Yeah, so soft. Mm. And then I guess that it has this wrap around. And I'm not sure if it's a cape or a skirt or what the deal is, but as you can see in the photo, that's what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah, so this one is definitely going on my display case because I just fall in love with this. I think it's so adorable, so cute. And I really like it. Yeah, I um so sweet. Look at that. Mom, 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 mom. <laughs> I know, right? So adorable. All right, so let me set her down. And let's see what else have we got here. Oh yeah. But you know, I have by now you know that I have a thing for cars. And I have gotten the Barbie Extra car, which I think is fantastic. And then I also collect Hot Wheels. And new for 2022. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Yeah, I think this is so, so cool. So I'm going to also 
put this in my display case as is. I'm not going to remove it from the packaging. I'm going to leave it just like that because I think all of that makes it more special. Yeah, very happy with that. Then, I saw these two kits that I have never seen before. And I really don't collect much, many of the kids, you know, like Chelsea and so on. Very few. So speaking of Chelsea, I saw this one. And I love her red hair, but I also love the fact that I've never seen this one before. So look at her. Do you see that? So cute, look at her little outfit and her shoes. Right? Adorable. Love that. And then there are. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Check out the brother and sister duo. These are so fantastic. And this is from Barbie. It takes two. And I'm not really sure if it's, I get, I'm gathering it's a TV show. Not really sure. But. I couldn't resist these two because I have never, ever seen them before. And as you know, I love my African-American collection and couldn't resist them. Couldn't resist them. Yeah, and they come with quite a few accessories. They come with their own pets. Um, doggy. And in there, this a puppy. I know, right? So creative. Yeah. Yeah, with the little dog bag, right? You put the puppy in there. And then there's actually a little even a miniature there with the water bowl and the um, her t-shirt says happy vibes. And then he has a little soccer ball. It could actually be hers, who knows? Um, ice cream and water and a little leech for the dog. Oh, so cute. Yeah, Barbie, it takes two. Love them. Love, love, love them. And then I saw, I actually went to Target for the first time in a really long time. And I saw that they had this collection of Life in the City. And this one, I have never also, I have never seen this head sculpt, nor this figure, but I love the fact that she's a curvy girl. And I think that she is awesome. And it comes with a backpack, uh, like a chihuahua, and her laptop and headset. Look at her. Oh my God, do you see her? I know, and I love her pants. But you see, she got some curves on her. <gasps> yeah, she looks amazing. Amazing! Yeah, and then here is the photo with her on in her getup. So fantastic, such a city girl. <laughs> yeah, and it seems that this is also from It Takes Two. Yeah, nice, right? Okay, the next one I'm gonna show you, I couldn't resist it, I, I love carnivals. I love amusement parks. I love anything to do with outdoor play. And when I saw this one, I couldn't resist it. And one thing that I love about it is the creativity of this. So fun. So this is actually a play set of Chelsea at the carnival. <laughs> Look at that. I know, I see her with a little blonde hair, right? And then you can see that it comes with a Ferris wheel. So cool. Yeah, and the great thing is that you could actually put her on the Ferris wheel. I know, so, so cool. Now, 
it seems that now I'm gonna have to get my little buddy over here because he looks so good in that little go-kart. Yeah, I think that is awesome. So, so thrilled that they did this and they came out with it and there's so many cool things about it. Even like the little picture diagram for the head, right? So they can take a photo. <laughs> so clever. Yeah, and of course I have nowhere to set this up, but I had to get it. So I'll figure that out later. <laughs> Okay, now, this is some, another series that has been, I believe this may be uh, the 80s edition of Barbie Rewind. And I got the first three, and then they came out with the second three, and I could not resist her. Alright, so as you can see, right, that's how the box comes. Beautiful. And then, and look at her. Look at that outfit. Ooh, ho, ho, mama is jazzing. <laughs> yeah, and when you pull her out, yeah, she's beautiful. So fun. So fun. So of the three of them, I noticed that in Mattel Creations, she sold out. Yeah. However, if you go to Amazon, you're going to find her at a better price. Now you know. Now you know. Right? They're about, I think, on Mattel Creations, they're about $45. I think you can get her on Amazon for $36. And may have a coupon. So it's even better. Mmm. I know. Yeah. And I love these rewind of dolls with the, um, you know, with the cassette and the fact that they are made like a video. <laughs> and then this one, one thing that I also like about this one is her Barbie bag. And actually both bags, like the hat box, which I think you can put the hat in, and then her little shopping bag. I know, she actually comes with three bags. She's a bad girl. <laughs> yeah, 80s Rewind. So creative, so cool. And I love how that looks. Yeah, so you know, if you were to display this like on a shelf, you could actually stack them up and that would look pretty cool. I know, right? So happy. <laughs> Okay, there's another series they have come out. And this is what I was saying. There's just so many like, layers and layers and layers of Barbie that keep coming out. And I'm like, oh. So here's some information you should know, some trivia. So the number one selling Barbie in the Barbie history, which I was actually surprised, is Totally Hair Barbie. Right? The one with the really, really long hair. Now, when they did the remake on that, when they did the reproduction on that, I missed out on the boat on that as well. And that doll has definitely have gotten really pricey, so I haven't found her yet. However, I don't know if you noticed that in my Barbie and Friends video, I believe it is episode 128, you will see that in the kids' room, one of the boys is playing with his miniature long hair Barbie. I know, so that's the only one that I've had until now, where they just came out with three new dolls with the totally hair um, Barbie concept, and they made them a little more fun. So the one, of course, that I have to get is the African-American one because I think she is absolutely gorgeous. Love her rainbow color hair, and I love the colors that they used. And the accessories are kind of fun because they gave a whole bunch of like better butterflies that you could velcro onto her hair. She has sunglasses and even little um, um, ties for her hair. And she is quite beautiful. So you ready? Oh, look at her. Yeah. I mean, 
She is beautiful. See that? Look at that face. Oh, so good. And then you see the butterflies and her blouse that she changes into. And they actually made four. And it seems that one of them is Asian mix. Um, the other one is Caucasian blonde, then the African American one, and then the fourth one, I'm not sure she's supposed to be a white girl or Latina. Don't know. I'm thinking that maybe Latina. Hmm, don't quote me on that. Yeah, um, and then there is a thing where the butterflies, if you dip them in water, hot or cold, they change color. So that's kind of fun. And then they show you in the back three different looks that she can have with the different accessories. Right? But they don't show a picture of what she would look like in her blouse. In the outfit change. Like that. I know. See? So good. And you can see what I was talking about, the butterflies changing color. Yeah, so if you see the four of them together, they look pretty cool together. Yeah, I like how their dresses complement each other. Yeah, so as a set, that could be a pretty cool thing. So yeah, so check that, you know, go to Target, check out Amazon. And you know, and even so, I gotta tell you that I thought that because they, you get them at the store, that you would get a better price. That's not always the case. You need to do your homework. Even at the store, I was like scoping out Amazon and eBay to see what the deal was with pricing. And some dollars I didn't get because the pricing was better on Amazon. So just letting you know. And then these actually, when I checked out the prices on these, they were exactly the same. So I just went ahead and got them at the store. So, and I say these because not only did I get this one, but I also got the Asian mix one. Yeah. And she is actually beautiful as well. And one thing I've noticed is that they only give you like a top to change that I guess you could put over the top, I'm not sure if it's two pieces, but it goes really well with the skirt that they're wearing. And this one has split hair, where one side is all dark and then the other side is the rainbow. So it's a little different. Oh, look at her. Right? Yeah. And once again, there are three different ways that you can style her. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. So happy. I totally forgot that I had gotten two. Yeah. So, guess what time it is? <laughs> that's right. It's mail time. It makes me want to wag my tail when it comes. I want to wail. So this one that I'm about to show you, I actually got from Walmart. And I got her at Walmart because I was getting the Barbie holiday doll from 2022 from Walmart. And as you know, the red hair one was specially created for Walmart. You can't find her on Mattel Creations um, at all. They only showcase the four, so they're five altogether. I had to get her because that's going to be my display for Christmas this year. So in my getting her, I saw this other one that I had to get. And by the way, the holiday dolls, I'm gonna be doing it in a different video because not only am I gonna be showing you the five dolls that are for the holiday this year, but I'm gonna show you my holiday display using the five dolls. Mmm, how exciting. So 
Ready for this one? Oh. When I checked on this, I had no idea that there were other renditions in years prior of this type of doll. And I say this type of doll because this doll is actually <laughs> Tooth Fairy. Look at her. Oh my God. And the reason I got her is because I think she is absolutely beautiful. So, so beautiful. And I think that I'm actually going to pull her out of the box. I know, right? And as you can see, there's not anything really special about the box itself. Right? It doesn't lend anything else to the doll to make it more special. I saw her in the photos out of the box and I think she's absolutely gorgeous. So I think she's gonna look great on my shelf with King Mermaid. Mm, see where I'm going, right? Yeah, and I mean, so beautiful, I love her wand. Yeah, and then, so creative. At the bottom here, there is a, it looks like a pillowcase with a coin. Yeah. Sweet. And when I checked, there were there were other two fairies that they have come up with, but this one, I think is the prettiest up to date. Yeah. Love, love this one. I know. So, so good. And finally, my t-shirt. Mattel Creations have been coming out with some great designs and they're getting better. And what I'm loving is that they're actually catering to the guys as well. Thank you so much. So this is a small, as you can see, fits me perfectly, but I love the design. And it says, serving, serving Luke's since 1961, Ken. <laughs> I know. And it's L E W K S. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, let's get a little closer so you can see. Oh, I know. Isn't that great? I love it. Superstar. <laughs> yeah. So, my friends. That is my showcase for today. Hope you enjoyed another showcase of Barbie. I believe what is this, showcase number six? Ooh, that's right. Get ready for showcase number seven and number eight coming up. Love you guys. Please take care of yourself and I'll talk to you later. Hey, don't forget, subscribe. Thanks. <laughs>